Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Vlog. Now today I'm going to be making uh, a two layered chocolate sponge cake uh, filled with a chocolate buttercream. Uh, it's quite an easy recipe and, and doesn't actually take very long. Um, so first of all we'll, we'll make the two layers of sponge cake and then while that's baking we'll make the buttercream so that that can um, firm up as the uh, sponge cakes cool down. So we'll go straight on uh, to the ingredients after um, pre, uh, preheating our oven to 180 Celsius, that's 160 Celsius with a fan, 350 Fahrenheit, and we need to line uh, two 8 inch uh, sponge tins, and I have straight sided ones here, um, with uh, parchment paper on the bottom and greasing the sides. Uh, so I've done that and I've got the oven preheating. So we'll talk about the ingredients, which for the sponge are 225 grams of uh, softened butter. That's just about two sticks of uh, butter. 225 grams of caster sugar. That's uh, one cup of sugar and an eighth of a cup, which is about two tablespoons. Uh, we have four medium eggs, which would be large in the USA. I have 175 grams of self-raising flour, which is uh, one cup of flour, a quarter of a cup, and two tablespoons. And I have 50 grams of cocoa powder, which I have sifted, and, and that's a, a, a loose half a cup, just under half a cup of cocoa powder. And so the first thing we're going to do is to cream our butter and our sugar until they're nice and fluffy and I'm going to do that in my stand mixer you could do it by hand if you preferred so we'll put the sugar into the butter and then we'll just get those uh, worked until they're nice and creamy and fluffy So I've uh, creamed the sugar and the butter together and I did scrape down the bowl um, as well uh, to make sure that I got all the, the butter mixed in. So then I'm going to add the eggs one at a time and I'm going to mix those in. Now if it looks like the mixture is curdling you can add a little bit of flour if you want to. Um, but it doesn't really matter because it will all come together in the end. So you'll mix the eggs in until they're all combined. So with our eggs mixed in quite nicely, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cocoa powder into uh, my flour and I'm going to give that a little stir around. Now I, I may have mentioned I sieved the cocoa powder because it tends to have uh, clumped together. Um, but I'd, So I sieved it just a little bit to make sure there were no lumps in it. And with it reasonably nicely mixed into the flour, I'm going to fold both of them into my egg and butter mixture. And that will be all our mixing done. So as you can see, um, the mixture, when you put eggs in with butter, it tends to curdle a little bit. And that's why you can add some flour to prevent the curdling. But in actual fact, as you mix the rest of the flour and the cocoa in, um, that curdling will disappear, so that will be fine.
so we'll add the cocoa powder and the flour into the egg mixture and then we'll just fold that in till it's all combined With our mixture combined like that, we need to divide that equally between our two sandwich tins. So uh, then what we do is we just spread our batter out in our tin to level it off. And then with our two um, tins evenly spread like that, I'm going to put them into the oven and I'm going to bake them for about 25 minutes until they've risen and they're nice and springy, firm to the touch but springy and a skewer in the centre comes out clean. Then I'll take them out and cool them down but uh, we'll also go on while they're baking to make our chocolate buttercream. And for that what I have is 200 grams of icing sugar in this bowl. I have 100 grams of uh, softened butter and I have 50 grams of uh, dark chocolate so uh, that's one and a half cups plus a tablespoon of icing sugar that's half a stick um, minus one tablespoon of butter and it's one and three quarter ounces of dark chocolate now I've melted that dark chocolate and I'm just letting that cool down a little bit um, now you can melt that very carefully in the microwave or you can put it um, in a double boiler that's in a bain-marie so put this bowl over a pan of boiling water or simmering water but don't let the water touch the bottom of the bowl and just leave the chocolate there until it melts. So what I'm going to do for this uh, frosting is I'm going to put the butter into the icing sugar and I'm going to beat it until it's all combined. I'm going to start it on very slowly uh, with my hand mixer uh, so that the icing sugar hopefully doesn't go everywhere. So with our buttercream uh, icing and butter mixed, I'm going to put the chocolate in and I'm going to whisk that in as well. Now it's cooled down quite a bit. It doesn't matter if it softens everything a little bit because it's going to we're going to leave it to firm up before we spread it.
Okay, so our cake has cooled down completely um, and I've turned one layer upside down so that that's flat and I've, as you can see I've taken the, the paper off as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that onto one layer onto a plate like that and I'm simply going to spread my chocolate buttercream onto that layer And with that spread out reasonably well, I'm going to take the other cake sponge and place that on the top like that. And just press it down so that it sticks to the buttercream. I'm just going to cut it and there we have it And so, I'll take a taste of it. Mm. It's a nice light sponge. And that chocolate flavour in the sponge comes through. It's not too strong. You could add maybe more cocoa powder if you wanted, but I think that's that's ideal as it is. And then you've got the chocolate in the buttercream as well, which uh, adds that extra moisture and uh, flavour to things. It's a very simple recipe, this. Very easy to make, but it is rewarding. So it's not as rich as some chocolate cakes that you might uh, buy or that you might want to make. Uh, it's not that decadent type but it's very easy to make and certainly very very tasty so that's going to be it for this recipe and i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give me the thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my youtube channel in the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on to take you to this recipe and i'll put a link to it as well below the video and i will be back with you with another recipe in the very near future so until then Happy baking.